all serious, uh, so. these two guys are the ones that did most. You, you too. <laughs> yeah. So they now join. They were will be the 84th certified Ohio Clean Marina in the state of Ohio. Um, they're part of what's called the National Clean Marina Program. We have clean marinas all across the country, um, and we recognize them for their continued environmental stewardship and support of protecting our natural resources. Conneaut Port Authority just became certified as what's called an Ohio Clean Marina. Uh, what that means is they are a marina that voluntarily adopted environmental best management practices to improve air and water quality on site. Uh, they are now the 84th certified Ohio Clean Marina of about 100, or excuse me, 375 marinas across the state. And uh, they've adopted best practices such as educational materials on how to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species for boaters, uh, waste management practices, stormwater controls on site, uh, employee training and boater education initiatives. Stop for a second. Loud vehicles, noise pollution. <laughs> so how did they do some of these things? Like the storm runoff, what kind of uh, programs did they uh, sure. institute or whatever? Absolutely. So I'll, I'll give a broader overview. There's a five-step process to becoming certified. So the staff, it would have been Denver and Tom, attended a clean marina workshop that went through the whole range of environmental best management practices and regulations that apply to a marina industry. So they first had to attend a training on, on a broad range of topics. We then went through a checklist with them that went through uh, certain practices that were applied to their property and we streamlined that checklist to only items that they would need to adopt um, to become certified. What happens in most cases is many marinas already are doing a lot of the practices that we require in our program and so that was the case with Conneaut okay. as well. So they already were doing a lot of things right, we just tweaked them or added some new things. So for example, stormwater, one of the things we're working with them and on doing is labeling their storm drains. Um, so that people are aware that all of the storm drains on the property drain to Lake Erie. And so if there's waste or trash or dumping, which is not allowed, hopefully discourages some of that dumping on those storm drains because it goes right to the lake. Right. So we label those storm drains. Uh, we work with the staff on best practices, such as what we call good housekeeping. It's really just cleaning up and maintenance on the property so that when it rains, the idea is to minimize the amount of pollution that's on the marina or the Port Authority property that ends up in the water. Um, at the neighboring city, Ashtabula, they have a program with kids that deals with uh, like plastic straws yes. and that sort of thing. Yes. Um, they Every year they go out and they, they gather up a tremendous amount of straws that can damage, kill wildlife in Ashtabula. Is, is that, that anything like that involved in the program? Yeah, so we have an entire chapter of our Clean Marina checklist dedicated to what we call boater education. And that Conneaut Port Authority has done a really good job and they plan to continue to do a good job in that area. So we actually have boater tip sheets and we've updated the contracts so that the boaters who dock here will receive regular education on best practices, including those related to what's called marine debris. So um, the nice thing about clean marinas is we adapt it for boaters. So while people may see education on trash in your waterways or trash on land, no littering, it's all in a boating context. So we talk about bringing a reusable water bottle when you're underway on the water. We talk about, yeah, bring your reusable drinkware or not using straws, especially when you're near the water because you're right there. If it falls, it doesn't fall on land, it falls in the water. Um, so we have adopted several of those initiatives and educational programs with the Conneaut Port Authority. And then I plan through our program and through resources that I have to connect them with additional boater education on uh, what we call clean boating. How long has this program been going on? Sure. So 
So uh, we've been around technically since 2004. Our first marinas were certified in 2005. And historically, only until 2015, we were limited to the Lake Erie watershed. So we expanded in 2015 to where we now certify marinas across Ohio. So it's not just on Lake Erie? Correct. Ohio River? Or... Mm -hmm. Inland uh, marinas, reservoirs, everything. Yeah. Now I was told or I heard that uh, this could help with grants. Is yeah. It, so what's that? What, yeah, what kind so of things can this? the Port Authority like apply for it. Sure, absolutely. So some of these are outside of whether they are a certified clean marina, but again, one of the benefits of becoming certified is I help provide technical assistance and I consider myself to be a facilitator, so I'll help connect them with grants. Um, so for example, there's grants available for pump outs, for vessel pump outs that are available for a marina facility. We're also looking at grants for marine debris, whether it's dealing with abandoned and derelict vessels or marine debris in the harbor, as well as uh, grants for what's called stormwater improvement. And that would be when we look at maybe construction or changes that may be happening on site, planning to manage any um, stormwater runoff that would be generated when those changes occur. So how long from the, when the process started to today, how long was that? Sure. Yeah, I think Tom's right. It was about a two year process. Every marina is different. COVID certainly impacted this process. Um, I think it probably would have been closer to about a year if we didn't have that. Um, but to be honest, the Conneaut Port Authority has been wonderful. They were very proactive. Uh, they attended the training a while ago and have been in regular communication with me throughout this process to make sure that they're doing everything right. And I think they're, they're, we're, we're certifying them as what's called base certification today. We have three levels, base, gold, and platinum, and they're really close to gold. So I have a feeling that they're going to be reaching for that next tier pretty soon. So we may be back here in a year. <laughs> it might not be too long. Yeah. All right. I've known about it before I got on the um, board. And I just uh, called them and started um, <laughs> telling them about our process and what we were doing and how and I was told how well it might fit with the Clean Marina program and uh, we just got together. Is, is, was it challenging? Uh, not really because our um, harbor master, Denver Spielbender, has done so many things ahead of time. It was already proactive that um, he had been doing the right thing all along and um, we were just able to put it all together in one package. So you're looking at, at grants, this is supposed to open up uh, various grants for the Port this, Authority? This should help us tremendously. Uh, not only this, but our delineation of the wetlands behind me uh, as a um, as a federally protected area um, certainly helps with our efforts in, in grant uh, writing and, and receiving grants. How do I know you have to, you've talked to boaters, educate boaters? How well do they cooperate in all of this? Oh, you know, most boaters are just fabulous. There's, there's a few here and there, but most boaters and the fishermen are just great. Um, it's a matter of just educating them if they know. Uh, what it is that they should be doing. Some uh, little things like um, uh, we spoke of, I spoke of yesterday was um, Dawn dish, Dawn dish soap. Um, you wash your boat with that and it's a big no-no and pe most people don't know that. It forms these micelles that are little, little <laughs> round molecules <laughs> that the fish eat and it, it literally kills them. So, um, you know, if you don't know that, uh, I wouldn't have known that unless I were part of this. Um, as well as, we're going to do things like, okay, the, you've gone all over the harbors, you know, Ashtabula, Geneva, Kanye, and they wrap their uh, boats in shrink wrap at the end of the year. Um, every year that shrink wrap just gets disposed of in the landfill and we're going to start recycling that. Uh, so, you know, those are some of the things that we, we're, we're doing new now uh, to reach this level of certification. Well, we've been working for quite a few years now on economic development and being able to partner with the Port Authority who can then partner with the private sector to achieve that goal is extremely important. And the Port Authority has been doing a fantastic job in accomplishing many things down here and, and that is going to be the economic turnaround in the city, we believe. And the entire council is on board with uh, development going on in the port. So I applaud them on achieving this.
this new designation. This is just another feather in their cap, you know. So it's so. another chance for grants and, and Absolutely. improvements? Absolutely. There's there's many things planned down here between the new marina and the streetscape project on uh, Naylor Drive there. So, uh, and again, like I said, it's the key is having that public-private partnership. You know, the city will work with the Port Authority, and then the Port Authority works with the private developers. And we will do whatever it takes to continue the economic rebirth of not only the port, but the entire city. You know, we want it to be business friendly. And that, that's the goals that we set for council, and that's the goals that I set, you know, coming into office. So.